hi people in this video i'm gonna show you how i wash my beauty blenders so yeah i normally use this beauty blender uh, soap from beauty blender yeah so this is my new uh, sponge the blue one so i know it's gonna be a little easier to remove all the foundation and things uh, from it because I didn't use it as often as uh, the other ones but yeah the soap is very good to remove uh, all the dirt from your beauty blender so yeah I would recommend it except that it's a little expensive but it really works so I'm gonna show you what it looks like after one wash yeah so that's what it looks like so of course I'm gonna have to pass another time with the soap to be able to remove everything from it yeah so I bought this soap at uh, Sephora so you can buy it uh, online or in store it's very good for your beauty benders so yeah I, I give it a thumbs up for this one technique but i have some many others options for you so this other thing is gonna be uh, some dish soap some regular dish soap and my black beauty blender so i'm gonna squeeze some water in it before cleaning it so i'm gonna pour some uh dish soap so yeah with that it was uh actually uh, really easy to remove the foundation as well and what was fun is that it really uh, lathered a lot so there was a lot of uh, mousse in it but that was a, a positive thing and a negative thing because every time I had to squeeze uh, squeeze my uh, beauty blender there was always like a particle of soap uh, still in it so it was a little bit longer to uh, clean my beauty blender but at the end uh, it's cheaper and it was still clean yeah so that's what it looks like after that so now on to my third uh, sponge oh no yeah this is good yeah <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use uh, some hand soap some regular hand soap to use on my third uh, beauty blender so you can see the difference of what a clean and a dirty blend uh, dirty beauty blender looks like so I'm gonna squeeze it of course like all the other ones pour some uh, regular hand soap on it so yeah f for that technique it was cheaper yeah but it was so long and it wasn't really uh, effective I had as you can see I had to use my two hands and do so many passes with the soap uh, it was very long and exhausting so after that you're gonna see me uh, use my beauty blender uh, soap the one that I use for my uh, blue sponge just because it was like impossible to remove all the foundation and things from this beauty blender so I wouldn't uh, suggest this um, technique for you but if you don't have anything else to clean your sponges uh, you can use that so yeah you can see here I'm just switching back to my uh, regular uh, beauty blender soap so yeah, after that, it's all clean. So no, it wasn't a good option. So yeah, now for my last beauty blender, my pink one. Yes, it's pink. That's the dirtiest, that's the oldest beauty blender that I have. I'm gonna try this technique that y'all all seen on Instagram or Twitter. It's to put it in some water in the microwave for uh, a minute. So now you can see my clear water and I'm gonna put some dish soap in it just a little bit and I'm gonna soak my beauty blender in it just to uh, be sure that the water is going inside as well so you can actually see uh, some dirt coming out of it already so I really hope 
that this technique will work because this uh, beauty blender right here is very uh, dirty and it's really hard to remove uh, the dirt from it it always takes so many passes for it and there is still uh, some dirt and some stains left in there no it's not dirt it's stains yeah because it's still uh, clean but there is some patches so yeah this is my result after my one minute in the microwave so the water was very hot but yeah you can see uh it's still it's still dirty there's still some foundations but at the bottom and at the top of the beauty blender but you can see that some uh foundation uh was removed from it by the color of the water here Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Not really, but yeah. So you can see that was I was still able to remove uh, some foundation from it. But yeah, I had to go back uh, and use once again my regular beauty blender soap. So yeah, this uh, this soap right here, it's uh, it's the best. But as I said, it's expensive. But if you don't have time, uh, you should try it. So yeah, this is what it looked like after that it's clean trust me <laughs> trust me people it's just it stains like that so that's the result of my four uh, options um for my beauty blenders and if you were wondering how i use uh how i clean sorry my uh, makeup brushes uh, i just use a bar soap if it's that's called it's called a solid brush cleaner sorry people yeah it's from a uh, sephora so it comes with a pink thing that you just rub your brushes on it and it's clean all right so thank you people for watching i'll see you in my next video bye guys